Good morning, everyone. Oh, this is Lala. Lala is with us today. Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome. Oh, shoot. Sure. I dropped a line. Welcome, everyone, for another workout video with me. I hope you are ready. We are going to do the power up video, which is only 15 minutes. We have 15 minutes abs and I might do some boxing. I don't know. Still thinking what the third workout I'm gonna do. And because it's only 30 minutes workout, it's not good enough. Not good enough. So let's start before I have to go to brunch. Hey, it's Joan and welcome to Fit On. Today's flow is for you fitness enthusiasts who really want to get your sweat on while we power yes. up our yoga flow. Oh, In less God. than 15 minutes, sweat I'm going to have you feeling the burn and the bliss. So let's start standing today at the front edge of our mat. I always like to start with intention, no matter how powerful our practice is going to be. So let's bring the hands to the heart and focus on how we can step into our power today. And let's start to add some movement. Inhale, reach up, open that heart center. And on the exhale, swan dive forward to our forward fold, Uttanasana. On the inhale, lift to your flat back, soften the knees, plant your palms, and step back to plank pose. And we're gonna hang out here. So for my newer yogis, you can always come down to the knees. It's incredible core work as you build your base of practice. Advanced, let's start to rock forward and back a few times, keeping the hips level. And just notice how far forward we can come in our plank so that we can set ourselves up for success in a chaturanga. Abs in, elbows hug the ribs. Let's slowly lower down. And a little nuance, we're gonna press back up to plank pose. Let's try that one more time. Abs in, chest leads the way as we lower chaturanga. Press to plank pose, and let's lift it up and back, downward facing dog. Drop the head, lengthen the spine, and always stay connected to your core. From here, how about a little body roll? Roll through that body on your way forward to plank pose. And let's take a vinyasa. On the exhale, slowly lower with control. And on the inhale, rise up, upward facing dog. Level one, you can always stay with cobra or you can try energizing those powerful legs for up dog. Now this advanced transition has you rolling right over the toes and finding your way back to downward facing dog. From here, let's take the right leg up with a square hip. Lift from the seat. On the exhale, bring the knee to the nose and plank around the back like cat stretch. And then let's inhale, one-legged plank. Whew, turning on that core, two more. Exhale, bring it in. Now part of being powerful is also knowing our limits and also being kind. So the difference between just being in power and being empowered is all about that balance. So bring that knee in for a third time, give it a kiss, step it forward, and let's gently drop down to that back knee. So our first stretch comes midway through this vinyasa sequence. Relax those hips and lift the heart. In order to be powerful, we have to be flexible. In this case, we're stretching the quadriceps and the front of the hip, and we're activating and engaging our core. Good, from here, one more stretch. Draw those hips back, straighten and flex. Wake up your hamstrings a little bit. We'll need them in this flow and then come forward. Level one, you're always welcome to stay low. If you're feeling a little more athletic today, lift up off that back knee and rise up to Crescent Warrior. Now I have a power flow and we'll start with the first option. Bend both knees as you open that heart. Your mantra or your affirmation, I am powerful. On the exhale, press both strong legs straight and reach up. One more like that, inhale, drop it low. Maybe that back knee flirts with the mat a little bit and you press all the way up to stand. So level one, two, you can stay there. Level three, you're gonna stay with that front leg in crescent and just extend and bend the back leg. 
And now we're in our power zone. Can you turn on that front abdominal wall? Engage that Uddiyana Bandha and move powerfully through the challenge in the legs. It's all about finding our edge here. Inhale as you rise, exhale as you get low. And then of course the advanced option is to try to find the peace in the challenge. Last one here, hinge forward, bring both hands down, and finally it'll feel like a relief to step to plank pose as we lower for a strong chaturanga. Inhale through that upward dog, exhale roll over the toes using the core, downward facing dog. Take a moment to breathe and reconnect. In order to move powerfully, we have to move intentionally. So we can't race forward without purpose. Then from here, start to round through the spine. Little spinal stretch on our way to plank pose. Let's lower down, let's sweep it up, and let's bring it back. And now we take the left side. Our spine is warm, our core is strong. Let's balance it out. Left leg lifts, press back through the heel. Lift from that strong gluteus maximus. Point the toe, bend the knee, come forward to that cat stretch and plank. And inhale, one-legged plank. Continue, we have a few more. Level one, you can always press back to down dog split instead. Or you can do this entire flow on hands and knees. So there's always a way to modify and always a way to intensify. Just depends on what would make you feel empowered today. Last one, I'm feeling that sweat roll off my forehead. Step it through. Ah, finally a moment to stretch. Drop that back knee. Maybe the hands come to the thigh. Hinge forward and enjoy that stretch across the front of the back leg. Now's a good time to towel off, wipe that brow, and just settle into your power. There's a great deal of power in replenishment as well, so feel free to stay here a little longer if that's what you're needing. Let's bring the hands down. Let's curl up off that back knee if you feel it, and rise up to crescent. Now we're gonna bend both knees. You always wanna keep the tailbone spinning down, the navel in, and those front hip points forward. As we flirt that back knee to the mat, we use our core and our balance to lift up to straight legs. Keep those shoulders down. Inhale, drop it low. And exhale, press it tall. Level one, two, you hang out with that variety. Overachievers, we're gonna stay low in crescent and drop it low. So we're in this flow for a while. We are strong and mobile, and part of being powerful, of course, is also maintaining that willingness to be flexible. So as you feel the body strengthen, you're also feeling stretch across that same powerful front hip and thigh as you activate glutes and quads. Lots going on. Let's drop in one more breath. How can I feel powerful today? Straighten the leg, hinge forward, fire up that core. How long can you get? How strong can you feel? And then bring both hands down, step it back to plank. Let's take that vinyasa, lower down chaturanga. Inhale through upward dog. Exhale back to down dog. So I'm gonna give three options. Level one, you come down to child's pose. Level two, you hang out in that downward facing dog. Level three with me, we're coming back to plank. We're gonna turn on our core again. So let's bring it down to the forearms and let's get a little preparation for our upcoming warrior three. Keep the hips at shoulder height. Keep that core turned on. What happens if you lift the left leg? And if you wanna power up a little lift in the seat, try five little gluteal lifts here. My number one request is for extra glute work, and yes, you can get it in your yoga practice. Set it down, pause. If you need a rest, please take it. If you're going strong, we come right to the other side. Lift the other leg, keep that core turned on, and little lifts here, how about five? On your last one, bring it down. Rest on the belly, uncurl the toes and lift up to a little back bend. 
Good. Embrace the heat you're feeling. It's all part of the practice. Let's come down to the belly. Sweep the arms back. And from here, just lift into that posterior chain, engaging the strong muscles of the back body. If you feel strong here, you can reach both arms forward, full locust pose, and then relax it down. Press it back through a child's pose, stretch that low back, and get ready for some more standing work as we curl it up and back, downward facing dog. Look forward, lift the heels, bend the knees. You know you can walk to the front, but you can also hop there. Towel off as you're folding forward. Inhale to your flat back. Exhale to fold. And inhale, reverse swan dive. Let's rise all the way up. Bring the hands to the heart. And let's take a nice step out wide. We're gonna keep the feet parallel, fire up that core, soften the knees, and we're gonna practice hinging forward halfway. So I've been doing a lot of preparation for Warrior Three. In plank, we tried the lower half of Warrior Three, engaging the glutes and the strong legs, preparing them. Now we're in the front half of Warrior Three. What happens between the tailbone and the crown? You may already be feeling your abs turn on. If you have a little more in you, without shifting the hips back, keep the weight in the fronts of the feet and reach both arms forward. Now you've just turned on your calves, your hamstrings, your core, and your powerful shoulders. So try one breath here, and then exhale, fold. Good, round up slowly, restacking the spine. Let's turn all 10 toes to the right. Find warrior two. Take a couple of shoulder rolls here, and we'll play with a half bind just to open up the shoulders. We'll reach forward to the right, Right forearm, as we know, can come to the thigh, but we'll try a little bit deeper option for advance, bringing the hand down and opening the chest. Now, binds can happen one step at a time. Let's take that top palm, spin it to the back, and reach that straight arm behind your seat. Now, bend the elbow and see if you can find that inner right thigh with the hand and use it to turn your heart upward. And take a few breaths here. Now, binds on the mat are very parallel with binds off the mat. On the mat, we need to ensure that a bind turns our heart upward and opens us up. Same with off the mat. A bind is any relationship you enter with yourself, with others, with the romantic partner, with the job. You want to be sure that it's always turning your heart upward because the moment that a bind starts to turn your heart down, it ceases to be productive. Unwind that bind. You're gonna need all of your core to come up. Straighten both legs. Turn all 10 toes in. Pause, recenter. Where is the center of your power? It's different every day in life. In our body, it's our core. So turn that on. Turn it to the left. Find that powerful warrior two. Keeping your Uddiyana Bandha, that core lock, you reach forward and find a version of side angle that feels good. A version that turns your heart upward. A version that opens you. And then flip the palm, reach it behind you, bend and open. So just like our relationships off the mat, we never wanna enter a bind just because we feel like we have to. We find and seek out the binds that work for us rather than work against us. So if this feels good, if it opens your heart and strengthens your core, stick with it for a breath. And then unwind, use that core to come up. We're ready for our peak pose each side, warrior three. Let's step to the front of the mat. Level one, you know you can use your blocks. Advance, we're going for it. Both arms up, bring that left knee in. Start to hinge forward. We practice the upper body and the lower body. Now we put them together, low back long. And just because this is a power up flow, we add three lunges. Why not? Inhale, lunge, and exhale, press. Last one, hold the lunge. Bring the hands down and step to a fold. Reverse swan dive, rise up. Side two, last standing pose. Bring that knee in, reach the arms up. 
Don't be afraid of losing your balance. It's likely to happen. Square it off. Find that core. Optional lunges here. Just as we know that everything is optional, making sure that it empowers you and feels right for where you are. Here's our third one. Both feet down. Ah, fold forward. Lift to chair just long enough to sit down. And let's get a nice hip opening stretch to finish. Bring the soles of the feet together. Fire up that core even when you're stretching. Lift that newly open heart and fold forward. And stay here as long as you have the luxury of time. You're getting a stretch for the low back and an openness for the hips. And I want you to check in for the last few breaths with your inner power. How did that flow empower you to show up off the mat as your best? I hope you had a wonderful time. It's such an honor to get to practice with you. I look forward to seeing you back here on the mat. In the meantime, namaste. Ah, felt good. Bit of stretching. It is, it did make me sweat a little bit, not too much, because you are still using some strength in your arms and your legs, which I love. But I feel like I need to do more. More. Okay. No, thank you. What does it tell me to... I've already done that one before. I guess because I'm on the computer now. I don't know. I don't know. Look at that, guys. We've done it. All the recommendations. And we've done all of week one. I'm so fudging proud 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 let's go to favorites so we did that one yesterday we can do some cardio sweat we're gonna do that one and we're gonna be sweating like a lot so be ready because i feel i need to sweat i ate more ice cream last night Ice cream, meaning, meaning, need to work out again. I mean, harder, just because of that ice cream last night. On, I'm Gideon Akonde, and this is your cardio sweat. We're gonna get warmed up first, and then I'm gonna She's break down sleeping. our five exercise workout. Let's get started. Feet shoulder width apart, twist in place. Easy, taking our time, no rush whatsoever. Feel good going into our sweat session today. Yes, let's sweat. When you feel comfortable, add a pivot into your twist, rotating even farther, lifting that back heel and feeling that rotation through the trunk. And relax. From here, side to side heel lifts, shifting our body weight from one side to the other, staying loose through the leg, waking up the muscles through the hamstring and the quads. Now, if you're ready, we'll pick up our intensity into butt kicks, staying light on our toes and lifting those heels up towards the glutes. You got three, two, one, and relax. From here, extend your left heel right in front of you. Scoop those hands out and low, reach them high to the sky. You're gonna feel a big stretch through the hamstrings here. Deepen that if your body feels open to it. And the more you rep through, the more you should feel the backside loosen and lengthen, which is exactly what we want. Let's get one more on both sides, even in them out. And last one here. And relax. Good. Let's finish it off some jumping jacks. Option, toe taps to keep the impact out. In three, two, one, go get that. Now we're not here for long. In a few moments, we'll rest, we'll grab a quick sip, and I'll break down our first movement to get things going. Three, two, one, done. All right, athlete. Now, the way it works is each of our exercises we're gonna complete three times through before moving on to the next. Our first movement is a squat jack into a reverse lunge. We'll start with our feet shoulder width apart. We'll sit down into a squat, tap in the middle, and down into a squat again, reverse lunge with the left. 
Squat down, tap in the middle, squat down again, reverse lunge with the right. Ready, set, let's go. Down, tap, down, reverse lunge. Beautiful, down, tap, down, opposite side, reverse lunge. We're working here for one minute, finding our pace and our tempo. If the jump is too much, you take it out and you give me a base squat into a reverse lunge. There's no wrong way to move here. We just want to find ways to move. Keep that, that chest up, that torso tall. <sighs> Landing softly whenever you do get airborne. We got 20 seconds remaining, letting that burn creep in and letting that heart rate rise. Now on that reverse lunge, keep that front foot flat on the ground. Keep that front knee over the front ankle. Three, two, one, relax. Now, my heart rate is certainly up. Why? Because I'm using the largest muscle groups in my body to do that work. So those quads, those glutes, those hamstrings, and everything else in between are forcing my body to have to pump more oxygen to those muscles. So if you feel your heart rate's up, don't be surprised why. Let's do that same movement again. This time, instead of one minute, we're working for 45 seconds. Our second time through starts right now. Squat them down. Tap down, reverse lunge. Squat it down, tap down, and reverse lunge. So there's a little coordination involved here. If you feel like you're kind of tripping over your feet a little bit, it's okay. I still want you to work at it though, because if you're not good at something, well, how do you improve? You practice it, you make mistakes, you clean it up, and you come right back to it. And that's what you're doing now. 15 seconds. Make sure we're sitting down into that squat. I want those hips to get nice and low with it. Let's go. Back knee down towards the ground in that lunge. Don't run away. Three, two, one, and rest. Did that burn? Maybe a tad more than the last time, Bru. Don't be surprised, fatigue is what's setting in. And even though that duration was shorter, those muscles were pre-fatigued because we did the exact same movement before. Not and guess 30 what? Seconds. We're about to do the exact same movement again. But this is the last time through, I promise, I promise, I promise. And it's the shortest time as well. 30 seconds on the clock, let's do it together. Three, two, one, let's go. Down, tap down, reverse lunge that, yes, down. Tap down, opposite side. 30 seconds only. Last time through before this exercise disappears from our workout. Yes, we are gonna wipe it right off the slate, never to return, at least not this time, and at least not today. We got five seconds. Yeah, extended recovery coming up. Three, two, one, done. Enjoy your recovery, shake those legs out. Whatever light stretching you need to do, be my guest. It is welcomed as this oh. is your time. Nice job. Grab some water while you're at it. Find a way to bring that heart rate down because this sweat is about to continue. We're gonna shift things away from the I lower got, body. I We're gonna attack on. a touch of the upper body, but specifically the core in 360 degrees. This is what I mean. In 30 seconds we'll begin, so continue your recovery. Just watch me for a demonstration of your movement. And yes, three times through on this one, 60 seconds the first time, 45 seconds the second time, and 30 seconds the final time. We'll be in a plank position with our feet wide. From here, we'll rotate to a side plank, having both heels hit the ground, that top arm over the top shoulder. We we'll return back to plank, and we'll jump those feet in and out three times, finishing wide before we rotate to the opposite side. Are you ready? One minute Wish starts. I am. Now, rotate to side plank, heels on the ground, hand over the top shoulder, return back to plank, hop the legs in three times, finish wide. Rotate to the other side, heels touch the ground, hand over the top shoulder, reset to plank, give me those three jumping jack motions in between each. Now make sure every time we raise the hand up, we don't over rotate with it. We don't wanna be falling backwards. On top of that, I want you to feel strong using those obliques the side of your body here that's closest to the ground to keep yourself elevated. Always make sure the hands remain under the shoulders in both the side plank and in your full plank. 
We got 15 seconds here. Taking our time, finding our pace, and feeling strong no matter where our body is. You're doing it right now. Keep on going. Four, three, two, one, rest. Don't go far. Matter of fact, stay right there, because you know we got to do it again, right? Second time will be better than the first. Why? Well, we got a chance to explore it, try some things, make some mistakes, but then improve, right? At the end of the day, we're always looking for improvement. 45 seconds is this duration. Same muscle groups will be targeted. So if it burns a little bit more, don't be surprised. Welcome the burn. It means you're getting better. Let's do it. Five, three, two, one. Plank position, feet wide, feet wide, feet wide. Rotate it, open it up, stay tall and hips high. Reset to plank. Opposite side, rotate that. Hands up nice and high, reset to plank. Now obviously I want the plank jacks in between, but if that jumping motion becomes too much, then you just rotate right through. And you continue to work on that side plank without the jumping jack motion if you so choose. On top of that, maybe you wanna do something similar to the jumping jack motion, but not the jump itself. Well then instead, walk two feet in, two feet back out before rotating to the other side. I'm giving you options because I want you to pick what's right for you and to work from there. And then we can always advance when the time is right. Three, two, one, and rest. How you doing? You all right? I'm great. I'm doing fine, thanks for asking. Shall we knock out one more time together? Cool, you cool with it? All right, I'm cool with it too. 30 seconds is what we got. Our last time in that side plank action. In 10 seconds, when I say go, we give it our best, we leave the rest. Very simple, right? Give it your best. I don't care what anybody else may be doing next to you. Focus on self. Get ready, get set, rotate. Reset the plank, plank jacks. Three of them, finish feet wide. Rotate, opposite side, hips high. Reset the plank, in and out with those feet. It's only 30 seconds long, keep going. Remember, hands always come back directly under the shoulders and those heels lightly touch the ground when we open them up. Almost through, almost through. Three, two, one, rest. Recover. Enjoy this break, enjoy this moment. The cardio sweat extravaganza continues momentarily. Find that breath, shake those legs out, shake those arms out, twist it up, whatever you need, because we go in with no excuses. We go in with a very low barrier for entry because we're gonna feel recovered and good to go when the time comes. And I want you to know exactly what it looks like so you can oh, play with it now. and we're the halfway. options I give you Nearly for down. our 60 second duration on our first round through. It looks like a lateral lunge. We bring that knee up, one, two, three. Lateral lunge opposite. Bring that knee up, one, two, three and we continue to alternate for that one minute. Option, lateral lunge, and we march it for three before we step out to the other side. All right, champ, you know what time it is. Time to get busy. Step it out to our left in three, two, one, go get that. Lateral lunge, knee up. One, two, three. Lateral lunge, knee comes up. One, two, three. Find your pace, find your flow, and move. Remember, with the lateral lunge, Weight goes back into your heels. You're bending into the knee you're stepping out with, and you're straightening through the leg you're stepping away from. Make sure as we're driving those knees into the chest, whether you're running them or marching them, I want your elbows at 90 degrees, and simulate that running motion, those athletic arms to match those athletic legs. 15 seconds. Three of them, pop, 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 yeah. Stay light on those toes, ha, ha, ha. And keep on breathing. You're better if you do than if you don't. Trust me, three, two, rest. That one skyrockets the heart rate in a major way. Use these moments here before we go after it again to just breathe. That's it, settle down. One more of those. Yeah. Shall we do it again? 45 seconds long. I know it seems like an eternity, but it's very short in comparison to what we just did. 
Let's give it a shot. Let's go. Lateral lunge. If you got to count it out, then count it out. But make sure you go through that checklist of what you should be doing and what you should be feeling to make sure that your body is in its perfect position. Hips back, weight into the heels. Straight through the leg that you're stepping away from. Elbows 90 degrees. Friendly checking, are you breathing? All of those things matter. Keep on going, come on. That's it. That's it. Let me get one more. Rest. Breathe. Breathe. Sometimes that's all you need to focus on. Don't let my words distract you from that inhale and that exhale as much as you can so we can do it one more time. 30 second effort is here. Extended recovery after this. Earn that break that's to come so that you need every moment when it does arrive. Let's go. Lateral lunge. Three high knees, only 30 seconds. Work hard now so you can be proud of your efforts later. Work hard now so you can get the results that you're looking for later. Let's go, 10 seconds. Feet straight, parallel to each other. Weight back, almost through. Three, two, one, rest. Congratulations. <laughs> Another exercise wiped off the docket as we recover and preparation to move on. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Breathe it in again and breathe it out again. One more time through and let that go. Now I got some good news for you. There's actually only four exercises in this workout. Yeah, you heard me right. Meaning that there's only one more exercise to go. Now this one, I also would like to think that it's the hardest one. Not only because it's challenging, but because it's jumping the last squats. one we're doing after expending so much energy. It looks like this. We have a broad jump with our feet shoulder width apart. Big jump out. Land softly. Then we place our hands on the ground and crawl back to our start before we reset and go again. 60 I seconds on the clock. I never thought I could do Have that. Have some fun with this I'm one. proud of myself Here that I can. we go. Big jump out. Land softly. Hands on the ground. Crawl back. Nice and smooth. Big jump out again. Land softly. Hands on the ground right where you are. Crawl it back. Stand on up. If the jump is not for you, take a big step forward. Squat it down and walk it back or take a big step forward, squat it down, and crawl it back. I'm giving you some variations to play with. Choose the one that's right for you, and keep on moving. We got this. Come on, come on, come on, pass halfway. Think of punching those arms forward, setting that body into motion, and then crawling back with control, back to your start position. 10 seconds. Keep those hips low and knees close to the ground on the crawl back. Three, oh, two, yeah. one, rest. <laughs> Question, was it as challenging as you thought it was gonna be? I'm still alive. I told you. I'm so I told you. <laughs> so Let's do it again. Happy. 45 happy seconds this alive. time through. Breathing now. So we have some energy, we have some juice to give this movement when I give you that go call. Athlete, you ready? Yes, sir. Yeah. Three, two, one, jump it out. Crawl it back. Remember, option to step it out, squat it down, and walk it back. Or option to step it out, squat it down, and crawl it back. And feel free to mix and match any of what I'm giving you. The point is, you're still going, you're still moving. You're still improving. No matter what variation you choose. And that's all I ask for as your coach, is to give me something. Give me anything. Almost there. Oh yeah, five seconds. Rest. Woo. 
Here we go. Can not feel my legs. Breathe first, but prepare that mind as you do for our last time through. Final interval of the day. 30 seconds of greatness. Position your body. Center your mind. Harness your breathing. 30 seconds of any variation you choose. Mix and match as needed. Athlete, go in three, two, I'm ready. one. Jump it out. Land soft. Call it back or step it out. Land soft. Call it back or step it out. Land soft. Walk it back. Let's go. We're well past halfway. 10 seconds to go. Give me a couple more reps. That's it. That's it. That's it. Ah. <sighs> Amazing job, champ. Way to get it done. Way to push through. Way to fight on. Before we go into our recovery, let's breathe. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. Inhale. Exhale. One more time in. And one more time out. Feels good to be done, doesn't it? Especially as hard as we worked. Open and close those arms. Oh, alternating the top arm. Just encouraging Yuck. blood flow here. Not doing too much work, but allow momentum to generate your swing. <sighs> Breathe in. <sighs> Breathe it out. Yes. One arm up, one arm down. And we alternate that top arm swing as both stay in motion. One gets to the top while the other reaches the bottom. And then we transition and switch them through. Breathe in, breathe out, and shake it on off. When you are ready, bring your feet to shoulder width apart. Cross your right leg over your left. Find your balance or use something around you to balance. And just sit those hips down and back. I want you to feel a stretch through the glute on the bent knee side. And just take your time here as you hold your balance, maintain your focal point, and breathe. And relax that. Shake it on out, shake it on out. Same thing on the opposite side. We find that balance first. Cross the ankle at the opposite knee. Hips back, back flat, but low. Find that focal point. Stretch to the bent knee side. <laughs> Take a couple breaths here. And relax. Shake those legs out and find them shoulder width apart. Deep inhale, hands up. Grab your left wrist, lean to your right, breathe out. Inhale, hands up. Grab your right wrist, lean to your left, breathe out. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands drop. Congrats. So happy for you. Proud of your work. You did it. My name is Gideon Akonde. Thank you for joining me for that With cardio sweat. Fudging and thank you for joining me here on Fit On. I'll see you next time. I am so fudging proud. I'm so happy. Okay, I just burnt the ice cream. So I'm fudging happy. So, so happy. Bye bye yesterday's ice cream. Bye yesterday's ice cream. Oh, fudge. Let's breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. While I was wetting my ass off, she's just sleeping. Chilling, sleeping. Oh, the party cat. Oh, boy, you're so sleepy. You sleepy, sleepy cat. All right, guys. How are we? to 23rd. Yes, we are. We are the 23rd, let's go, let's get our abs done tomorrow, no ab work, it is rest day, let me just make sure, yep, no ab workout tomorrow, so, and it's only gonna take 15 minutes, our last 15 to minutes to go, let's go, sweat it, Three, two, one. Uh, two, three, four, five, six,
24 standing bicycle 24 allez 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 23 24 Turning off my only fan. Ah, fight. Oh, how many? Sixteen. Douze, treize, quatorze, quinze, et seize. Feels good, feels good, feels good. And especially when my back cracked, I was like, oh yeah, feels great. 18, 9 on its, each side, clapping. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 18. Dead bug. 18. 18. That dead bug. And I love that one. It really feels good on my back. Ali. Eh. De. Trois. Quatre. Cinq. Six, sept, huit, neuf, dix, onze, douze, treize, quatorze, quinze, seize, dix-sept et dix-huit. 
Where are you going, Lala? Oh, Lolly. 16 reverse crunches. Lala, leave the fake plants alone. You shouldn't feel too much pain in your neck. Two. Three. Six. Who says? Bud Bridge, twenty, twenty twenty. Bring it in. Uh, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. By the end of this month, you guys are gonna learn how to count to twenty. From all the counting that I've been doing. So 16 leg raises, you guys can do that. I'm gonna just do in and out, like bridge and then in and out legs. Cause for some reason, leg raises hurt my lower back. I mean, I can do it a leg at a time. You know, one, two, three, four. You can do that, but I'd just rather work out on my legs and butt because it's my favorite since I can so 16 and two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen Skipping! Oh. <laughs> Hi, pretty cat! Oh my god, you look so cute! Oh, you look so cute, pretty cat! Oh, is it my cutie, pretty cat? Oh, you look so cute! Oh, you look so cute! Photo for you! Engraved in my memory. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Hundred and seventy in one minute. hundred and seventy skips in one minute. Not bad, not bad at all. Oh, okay. How many? Twenty-two. Standing bicycle. Oh my God, you look so beautiful, Lala. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix, onze, douze, treize, quatorze, quinze, seize, dix-sept, dix-huit, dix-neuf, vingt. 21, 22, 
Oh, oh, oh boy, oh my pretty cat, you look so cute. Who's the cutie pretty cat? Who's my cheerleader? Uh, 14. Uh, side to side. God, thank yes. Douze, treize, and quatorze. Clapping hands. Sixteen. Haha, oh, oh, what's the matter, Lola? Why are you just staring at me? Why are you just lying there staring at me? Are you sad? Why? Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix, onze, douze, treize, quatorze, quinze, seize. Dead bug! Dead bug! Dead bug! Dead bug! Dead bug! Huit, neuf, dix, onze, douze, treize, quatorze, quinze, et seize. Ouh. Oh. Fourteen reverse crunches. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. No rest. No rest, let's go. Two. Three. Six. Eight. Neuf, dix, onze, douze, treize, quatorze. But, eighteen. See, it was twenty before. Then, second round, eighteen. Un, deux. Trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, <coughs> dix, onze, douze, treize, quatorze, quinze, seize, dix-sept, dix-huit. In and out. Fourteen, in and out. Allez, un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix, onze, douze, treize. Ouf, 
Katos. Oh, oh, the burn on the ass. Oh. If I don't get a nice ass after this. Oh boy. 56 seconds plank and then we're done. Oh. Bye bye last night ice cream. I had a drumstick ice cream the honeycomb drumstick is it called drumstick the ice cream conato drumstick the honey corn one it was so good i love the biscuit pot 20 seconds to go Every time it reminds me of MasterChef. God, I miss the old MasterChef. I don't like the new judges. I stopped. I lost interest. It became more like competition against each other than anything. I remember when we used to watch MasterChef on Twitch. That was a lot of fun. Who misses watching MasterChef with me on Twitch? I mean, there is a new season that's coming out. I don't know if it's out yet or not. But it's all with the new judges. And it's not like we're home cooks. It's more like old contestants competing at, against each other. Or old contestants competing against new, like, newbies. And it's like... That's not what it's all about, MasterChef. I miss the old one. I miss the old judges. It was so much fun. I love the energy. I don't know. <sighs> you can do Cobra or just stretch like me. I just feel like stretching like that today. To just really pull, 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 pull. Yes, I can feel it all over my abs. Stretching, stretching. Ding! Child pause. Oh. Mm. Open wide if you need to. Now you can feel it in your inner thighs. Bye bye last night ice cream. I feel amazing. Feel good to work out, to sweat it. Do you guys feel on this fantastic Sunday? I don't know about you, but I feel fudging amazing. Even though it's Sunday, still work it out. You know, no pain, no gain. Can't wait till tomorrow. Oh, we have to take a photo of Lala. She looks so cute like that. Lala, uh, who wants to see Lala's photo? Well, you better go to my Instagram. My Instagram is LiveCleo. And you can check her out. Yeah, taking photos. She's a star. Well, you got... Hey, hey, what, what are you looking at? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Hey, time, it's over. Go check out my Instagram if you want to see a lot of photo. So, um... And my Instagram is live clear. Until tomorrow, have all a fantastic day. Don't forget to drink in your um, protein because you need it to build up that muscle. Um, get some magnesium drink that actually recovers your muscles. And it feels great to have some magnesium in you. It's good for you. It's good for your body and mind. Until next time. 
have all fun oh my god my hair hates it have all the fun fudging tastic day <laughs> night from wherever you are Mwah! love cleo bye oh it's a cutie pootie cat she's wagging her tail see she's excited that she, we worked out i hope you're wagging your tail too